For the design of reinforced concrete structures, Eurocode is referred quite extensively. For that, we will need to introduce you with the Eurocode family. In total, there are about 58 codes which can be categorized into 10 groups. From Eurocode, Eurocode 1 to Eurocode 9. The two codes that you are going to refer extensively in RC design is Eurocode 1 and Eurocode 2. Eurocode 1 is meant for determining the actions and forces acting on the structures and Eurocode 2 are meant for reinforced concrete design. This diagram outlines the relationship between the Eurocodes. The Eurocode 1 is used to determine the actions acting on different types of the structures. Eurocode 2 is used for the concrete structures. Then, these codes are meant for design and detailing. For geotechnical and seismic design, additional codes may be referred. All these codes are specially designed to inline with each other. And this forms an ecosystem within Eurocode. As for the Eurocode 2, there are several different parts. You're going to refer more extensively on the part 1, some in part 2, especially for the cover. And this too is for the applications of bridges or liquid retaining structures. In this table shows the comparison between the Eurocode and other superseded standards. Previously, we used BS8110 to design the reinforced concrete structures and used BS6399 to determine the load acting on the structures. This has already been superseded by Eurocode. The list of the titles are given here. Same goes to the standards listed here. These are the lists of the title of the Eurocode. Sometimes you might need to refer to Eurocode and BS concurrently. Therefore, you need to aware the terminology used within Eurocode and BS. In Eurocode, the actions is referring to the forces or the imposed displacement in British Standard. As for the resistance, is referred as the capacity in BS. The dead load and live load or imposed load is termed as the permanent actions and variable actions in Eurocode. These are the common terms that normally we use in the Eurocode. These represent the cover of a Eurocode. And we're going to refer to this standard quite extensively. And once a while, we might need to refer to the National Annex. As for the design life, for a typical reinforced concrete building, the normal design life is 50 years.